Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I am going to be talking about a new release from the Llama Index project. They uh, just wrote a blog post about it a couple days ago, um, talking about techniques with routing and abstractions. And I thought this was really cool uh, and very exciting because we're starting to make things more flexible uh, to our desire when we are working with LLMs and the data that we're trying to query. So I wanted to kind of go over a couple concepts that the blog post talked about and then go over the collab notebook that they have just to kind of go through the walkthrough. Um, but yeah, essentially there's been a couple ways to like think about how we use LLMs and um, and how we retrieve data from all of them. So we have ways to do it like I have here labeled. So semantic search. So this would be like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm asking about a specific question in a set of documents. I'm going to do a semantic search on a vector database and uh, load those, uh, those chunks into the context for the call to the LLM. Others are summary, so that would be like if you are trying to get an overview of a set of documents, maybe you're doing like MapReduce function uh, or a MapReduce chain or something like that. And then um, this one I'm not too sure about. They just talked about this, but this is at like temporal recency. And that is something I'm still exploring. So just kind of wanted to give you an overview of kind of how these uh, this new concept works in Llama index. And the way it works is we use something called the router and the router has a list of tools called uh, just uh, query engines and each query engine is like a tool. So you can think of this kind of like, it's almost, it, it reminds me of like when an agent has a has an array of tools and there's a description for each tool that it can and what it does. This is kind of the same thing, but instead of the tool doing some sort of execution, like calling an API or something, these are specifically for uh, the types of queries that we should be doing and uh, what types of indices we should be querying. So like for semantic search, it'd be like a vector, a vector index versus a summary. You could probably be like with llama indexes list index, where you just kind of summarize all of the nodes within the list index. Um, and again, recent, uh, temporal recency, I'm still kind of exploring, so I'm not going to really talk about it too much. And this is just more for the example. Um, and then this is also just another way to kind of think about it. So there's, so let's say that we have, uh, we have like a query and we're using a router and the router is going to be, let's just put it a little circle here. The router is going to be deciding, okay, let's say the query says, uh, what did, you know, I, I know Paul Graham is probably the most common piece of data that people use in examples. So what did Paul Graham say about such and such a thing? That is a very specific question. So it would probably determine that it should be using this query engine because there will be a description that says use this to query specific information about Paul Graham essays. And on the other hand, if it says, what is the overview of the Paul Graham essay? It might say, oh, I should be using this query engine to get the, to call, to query the list index. And then we will get our answer at the end. Just draw an arrow here. And that's kind of it in summary. There is a, there is a code block here where we can kind of see what it would look like when you're defining a, a a router query engine. So right here, this would be router query query engine, and then you define your tools in here. So you can see it's kind of just like, if you're familiar with Langchain, um, how you would define a list of tools for agents. And yeah, so in closing, that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I will leave a link to the blog post in the description. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all guys know what I am looking at, what I'm excited about. I think this is gonna be a super cool couple months coming up. I mean, it's always cool, more stuff's coming out every day. And um, yeah, 
drop a comment, drop a sub, drop a like, hate comments, encouraged. And uh, yeah, there's no outro, so goodbye.